So today we have another great video for you guys to go over with. It's actually several videos of what appears to be a BLM protest in Georgetown. Apparently they're trying to make as much noise so people can't sleep. I guess that by keeping everybody up and not letting them sleep, they're in a way keeping them woke. But horrible puns aside, make sure to drop a like on this video before it begins since it helps the channel a lot. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of the future content that is uploaded here. Every single video I've been posting lately has been heavily demonetized. So if you want to help me combat that, you can support the channel through YouTube membership, Subscribestar and Patreon. Let's roll the clips and then we will talk about them. For those of you that can't hear their chanting, if we don't get no justice, then you don't get no sleep. Let's watch the rest of their clips. Black lives are mattering out here. You gotta be awake to see it. Black lives are mattering. Wake the fuck up, Georgetown. Wake up. Black lives are mattering. Right out here. They're mattering. You gotta wake up so you can see! Get up, Georgetown! Get the fuck up! Get the fuck up! Get up! Get up, get up, get up! Get the fuck up, Georgetown! Get up! Get up! Get up, get up, get up, get up! Get the fuck up, Georgetown! Get up! Get up, get up, get up! Get that motherfucking ass up! Get that motherfucking ass up! Get that motherfucking ass up! Get up! Now I don't know what are the laws in Washington but I'm pretty sure there's a certain amount of noise you can make at night and this is probably illegal. I'm pretty sure this is a public nuisance rather than a peaceful protest and I'm sure the next clip would convince you of that. So as you can see they're also banging a sign to make as much noise as possible. Not only is this a nuisance, but now they are vandalizing public property, which is not something new. I don't know why they're protesting there if they're trying to gain some new voters, honestly. Washington is a democrat state ran almost entirely by lefties. These protests are not going to help them with the next election, so what other reason do they actually have left? Spread the BLM message maybe? This is also counterproductive to their message since they're not winning anyone from the other side. Those that are on the fence about BLM are being antagonized away from the movement and those that are with them would become less sympathetic to their cause. This again goes back to the point I keep making in several videos by now. They're all doing this so they can bully and harass other people. They're getting off on woke scolding anyone just so they can virtue signal, feel superior to you, while still playing the victim. They are what we call cry bullies. 
I wish there was a name to describe this counterproductive protest because they're not achieving anything. They're actually hurting their chances and message and it just goes back to that old saying, you'd catch way more flies with honey than you would with vinegar. But in this case, it's more like cyanide than vinegar because this movement had become so toxic. Keeping people awake at night is probably the worst type of protest they can have because depriving these people from their sleep would make them cranky, irrational and angry, which in the best case scenario would make them dislike BLM and in the worst case scenario, it might cause a violent scene. I argued that BLM was co-opted by white Antifa in the first few protests, but with each new video coming out from these protests, it seems like BLM is just as extreme as they are and are just another name for the same branch of extreme left-wingers. But what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments and on your way down there, press the like button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Maybe even consider supporting the channel in one of the many ways possible. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.